Good day, viewers. You are welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Chemistry Hangout. We will be taking the NECO Chemistry Practical, that's the qualitative analysis. Please, if you are yet to watch the titration video, please, I will urge you to actually do that. Go and watch the titration, learn it over and over again. I'm assuring you, you're good to go in the exam. So that's the number two question in the NECO 2021 chemistry practical. So this is the number two question now. Here I have my concentrated ACL, I have my glass rod, I have my wash bottle with distilled water, here labeled I have my sodium hydroxide, I have my dilute HCl, and I have a a, a particular sort because it's the sort I'm testing for in a petri dish already and I have two test tubes here. I have my measuring cylinder and I have my litmus paper, the blue and the red litmus paper. All this will be provided for you in your various schools. All this will be provided for you in your various schools. And if it is not provided for you, that's the reason why you are actually on this channel to learn this very particular qualitative analysis so that you will any problem encounter on that day, you will actually be able to actually sort it. Please, I will urge you to watch this video to the end. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, please, I will persuade you, I will urge you to subscribe to this channel. You can comment, you can share to your friends, okay, because it will be beneficial to them. So very quickly, let's move to the qualitative analysis. Okay, let's see how the question might look like. This is just a practice question on how the question is going to look like. They said C is a simple sort. Carry out the following exercise on C. Record your observation and identify any classes involved. State the conclusion you draw from each of the results of each test. Okay, so before you start doing the test, before you start carrying out the experiment, you have the table already because these are where you are going to record what is the test they ask you to do. What have you observed? And what can you infer from your observation? I hope I'm making myself clear. What can you infer from your observation? Okay, so they said C is a simple sort. Carry out the following exercise on C. Record your observation and identify any gases ever. State the conclusion you draw from each of the results of each thing. So the first one, which is the AI now, please, very important. A command figure one, please. Number it the way they have numbered it in the question. Very, very important. You need to number it the way they have numbered it in the question. Put sample C. So this is sample C now. This will be labeled sample C. Okay. So say put sample C in a test tube and add about five centimeter cube of distilled water. That's the first instruction. So with the aid of my spatula, I'll take my sample C. Okay. Go into my my test tube, you can use your boiling tube too. Anyone you have in your school, you can really do with that. Okay, so I, I've already done that. Put sample C in the test tube and add about five centimeter cube of distilled water. This distilled water, I can just measure about five centimeter cube. Okay, five centimeter, about five centimeter cube of distilled water. About five centimeter cube of distilled water. So, adding my water to it. Okay. The man said, add about five centimeters of it. Shake thoroughly. So they ask us to shake thoroughly because for every test we carry out, you must definitely observe something. Definitely. You must observe something. So they said we should shake thoroughly. Shake thoroughly. Okay. They said we should shake thoroughly. Shake thoroughly. Okay. Very important. Shake thoroughly. Okay, if you look at this, you see the salt is dissolving already. So let's see if it will completely dissolve in water. Let's see. Okay, let's see. It's dissolving already. I you see that now. The salt is dissolving already. Oh, definitely this is a soluble salt. In as much as it dissolves completely in water, okay, you have little lumps of the salt, so if you shake thoroughly, please take your time to actually do this. If you look at this now, you can see, see, 
as dissolved in water. That's my observation. So I noticed C dissolves completely in water, which is what I have here. So I can just leave it here like this. Then I record. Don't forget to say sample C. Put sample C in the test too. So I can say sample C plus distilled water. Can you see that? So what did I observe? A C dissolves. C dissolves completely in water. Okay, in distilled water. Let's put in distilled water. C dissolves completely in distilled water. Can we see that? So if C dissolves completely in distilled water, what can I infer from that? Very important. What can I infer? What's my inference? From the observation, it means C is a soluble salt. Can we see that? C is a soluble salt. Why? This by inference is a soluble salt because C dissolves completely in water. Okay, shake thoroughly and divide into two test tubes. That's the structure. It might be one test tube for you. You it can be two. So I can actually, I can actually. Divide into two, two test two like this. If I three, and then I ask you not to divide it into two test tubes. So just follow the structure. To the first portion of sample C, add dilute ACL. Add ACL, that's the dilute ACL there. Identify any gas involved. Please pay attention to this. Very, very important. This is my dilute ACL. Okay? So add ACL. Please pay attention to this. On addition of HCl, look at that, dilute HCl. I'm adding to this now. Okay. Can you see this? Look at this. I can quickly test that with my litmus paper. Can you see that? Okay. Number one, what I observe is there is evaporescence. What's the meaning of evaporescence? Can you see that? That's the bubbling of liquid in, in, in gas. And that shows the evolution of gas, meaning a gas is being evolved. And I'm testing with my blue litmus paper. Can you see that now? Okay. So what can I infer from there? The first thing will be, the first thing will be, they said Roman figure 2 now. A, Roman figure 2, very important. Roman figure 2. We have sample C plus distilled water, okay? Plus what? Dilute HCl. So what is my observation? Number one, I notice what we call effervescence or core. Effervescence or core. Okay? And what is the meaning of effervescence? I've said that effervescence is the bubbling of, of liquid, in, in, the bubbling of gas in liquid, and that represents the evolution of gas, meaning a gas is evolved. And I test the gas. With my blue litmus paper, can you see that it's changing into red? Okay, so evaporescence or core. Of course, the gas that is being evolved, if it has a particular odor, I will know. But because I'm perceiving it doesn't have any odor, okay? So we can say evaporescence or core, that's number one. And another one is what? An odorless and what? Odorless and colorless gas. And odorless and colorless gas. Evaporescence or core. And odorless and colorless gas. Okay. Don't our what? Our blue litmus paper red. Can we see that? Evaporescence or core. And odorless and colorless. And odorless and colorless gas. Okay, gas. Tons blue litmus paper red. Now another thing is this. Of course, the they might ask you to confirm that very particular gas. But this gas that is above there, I should have passed it into lime water, which is the confirmatory test for CO2. But because I don't have the apparatus to actually pass this gas into lime water, because the gas above here now 
is CO2. Can we, can, can we see that it's CO2? Because number one, if our business are not less and colorless gas that turn blue litmus paper red. But there are a lot of gas that can turn blue litmus paper red. And that's the reason why I needed a confirmatory test for the gas. But I don't have the apparatus to pass the gas into lime water. Because if I pass this gas into lime water now, it will just turn the lime water milky, which is a confirmatory test for CO2. Do we see that now? So, the, the gas turns lime water milky. So, from here now, if I make sense, I'll go, that's CO2 gas, okay? From CO3 to minus or HCO3 minus, probably because this can liberate CO2, this can liberate CO2 too. Can we see that now? So, colorless gas, top blue litmus paper red, meaning that the gas is what is ACD. Are we together now? The gas is acidic. Why is the gas acidic? Because it turns blue litmus paper red. Now, gas. Turns lime water milky. The only gas that can turn lime water milky, the only gas that can turn lime water milky is CO2 gas. Meaning, CO2 gas is what is confirmed. I mean, to be able CO2 gas is what is confirmed. That's the first test. Very important. That's the first test. Okay. Now, to the second, let's see the other one. Then I said, we have done this, okay. So the second portion of sample C, okay, we are using this now, which is the second portion. You know, this is the, this is the first portion now. We are using the second portion of sample C. So the second portion of sample C, add dilute sodium hydroxide. That's the next one now. So we have, please, the label is very important. That's B, I, okay. That's sample C plus Dilute sodium hydroxide. Have you seen that now? Dilute sodium hydroxide. So let's see our sodium hydroxide. This is our sodium hydroxide. Okay. Sample C plus dilute sodium hydroxide and one gently. So they said immediately you add your sodium hydroxide, just a plus it, right? You eat it gently. You eat gently. Let's see what we are going to have. Let's see what we are going to have. Let me use this as, let me just improvise this as the test to older, okay, to eat that very particular gas. Let me use it. And let me, because if a gas has effect on blue litmus paper, it will not have effect on red, okay? If it has effect on blue, it will not have effect on red. Why if it has effect on red, it will not have effect on blue, okay? So I'm using blue now. So I will eat this. Let me turn on my stove here. Yeah, I'm using stove as a source of heat for this. So we can still use our buzzing burner and any means of heat. So I'm using this now as a source of heat. As a source of heat now, okay. Eating the mixture, eat the mixture gently. Let's see what we're going to be having. Eating the mixture gently. Okay, if you look at it, you are beginning to see bubblings, okay, in liquid. And when I see bubblings in liquid, Definitely a gas is evolved. I can still test the gas evolved with my litmus. Can you see that? Look at that. Can you see bubbling, which is evolution of gas? So I can just moisten. I can moisten my litmus paper. I can moisten my litmus paper. Okay. Can you see that? The test. Can we see that? Can see the bubbling is rapid now. Okay. The test for the gas evolved. 
Can we see that now? Okay. Can you see? Changing my blue litmus paper red. Can you see? Changing my red litmus paper blue rather. Okay. Let's see bubble the gas so that it will be obvious. Oh, you can perceive the gas, please. You just waft the gas to perceive the odor, okay? Okay. Perceive the odor. I'm beginning to sense. Hmm. Okay, can you see that now? Okay. Still eat gently. Eat gently. Okay. Eat gently, gently. It's gently, gently. Okay, can you see this now? Look at my litmus paper. Can you see my red litmus paper changing to blue? Yeah. Oh, that's it. Okay, with this now, plus uh, sample C plus dilute sodium hydroxide evolution of a gas with what? Choking, the gas is choking, if you pass it, choking and irritating what? Irritating smell. Can we see that now? Evolution of the gas and what? The gas turns red, litmus, blue. Can we see that now? So I can say, evolution of the gas, don't forget, one of the properties of our ammonia gas is that it has a choking smell. Very, very important. A choking smell. Ammonia has a choking smell. That's the reason why I can infer from this observation that NH3 gas, that ammonia gas present from what? NH4 plus. Because of the choking smell, that's why my inference is ammonia gas. Can we see that? And it turns red, litmus, blue, which means the gas is what? Is aka. Gas is alkaline. So for this one, that they said, add small concentrated HCl. So we can say B Roman figure 2. That's sample C plus what? Dilute sodium hydroxide plus it because it will be liberated again plus concentrated HCl. You know, for the concentrated HCl, they can ask you to dip, they can ask you to dip a glass rod into the concentrated ACL and bring it very close to the gas or they ask you to add it, any of the two will give us the same result. Okay, look at this. Deep in concentrated ACL, bring the glass rod very close to it. Okay. Very close to it. Can we see that now? I want it to be very obvious so that we can get that. Look at it. A white dense film. Can we see? Okay, look at it now. Look at it. Look at the dense film. Can we see that now? A white dense film form. Okay? A white dense film. So when I say sample C plus dilute sodium hydroxide plus E, what I notice is what? A white this thing and if a white that's the confirmatory test for either ammonia gas or HCl when you bring it very close to it what happens a white dense thing from then I will know ammonia is what confirmed ammonia gas is confirmed ammonia gas is what ammonia electric gas that electric gas is what so that's the confirmatory test for either ammonia. That's the confirmatory test for either ammonia or that's the confirmatory test for either ammonia or my HCl gas. I can still use this, you know. You can see as to bring this very close, very close. You can still bring this very close. If that's what we, you can still put sodium hydroxide to make it very obvious. Okay. Just put a little sodium and just add again to the second portion. Okay. Then when it is liberating the gas, dip it here again. And 
the test for the gases of the scrubber. So, and that is. Can you see that now? Can you see it? See? Can you see? The white gas spin. Okay, so that's the test, confirmatory test for that. Can you see? Can that. Very close. Can you see that now? And sometimes, if they ask us to add to, please you have to be very careful. This is concentrated ACL. You have to be very, very careful here. Okay? Can you see that? You see? They ask us to add, or we put a glass rod, we dip a glass rod in concentrated ACL and bring it very close to the gas. And that gives us our what? Our white dense film. Okay, very important now. After the whole of this, because they will always tell you what is the conclusion. They said, state the conclusion you draw from each of the tests. This is my test, this is my observation, this is my inference. So, what is my conclusion now? My conclusion. So, sample C, my conclusion now. Sample C is, look at this. If CO2 gas is present from CO3 to minus, okay, and I have ammonia, ammonia gas present from this. Can we see that now? So which means I'm having something like this. NH4 plus, can we see that now? CO3 to minus. If they come together, maybe sample C is what? Ammonia carbonate. Sample C is ammonia So this is this, this is the, the, the sort that we tested for. So but you don't need to panic in the exam. It's possible for them to ask you to add dilute sodium hydroxide first. Then you, you bring ACL second, any one they ask you to do. The observation and the inference will be the same. You know, from my own, I started with distilled water, I added ACL, sodium hydroxide, and concentrated ACL. They can ask you to add concentrated ACL first, add sodium hydroxide, but the, the, the observation and the inference is what will be the same. So please, I want you to share this video to other students to friends and if you have not subscribed to this channel please i want you to do that so that you can get some exciting chemistry videos and if you have not clicked on the notification button on the bell please try and do that so that when we drop exciting chemistry videos like this you will benefit from it have a good one.